Austin? I mean, that really just came out of nowhere. We had met Gordy Johnson, who ended up producing the record, through our good friend, Mr. Chill, Kelly Hoppy, another Windsorite. Gordy lives in Austin. We started talking to him about making the record together. He said, if, if, if we're gonna do this together, I really think you boys should come down to where I live and where what I'm experiencing. And we got this Factor grant and made it possible for us. That day was, was pretty hectic just to begin with, getting up super early, four of us crossing the border. <laughs> But we made it. We left at like five in the morning or something ridiculous and we were so excited and had no clue what to expect when we got to Austin. It was like, just get here and it'll be all good. It were, you know, so it, there was a lot of anticipation definitely getting on that flight. Arriving in Austin, it was kind of funny because Chill came in and kind of spooked us because we were like, we didn't know what to expect. And he's like, man, you guys are going to have to unlearn everything you know. <laughs> And uh, we definitely did, he was not kidding. Yeah, when we got down there, Gordy picked us up and uh, did some pre-production to figure out what we were gonna do once we got in the studio. He had an agenda right away of just, I wanna start playing music for you guys that I think you probably haven't heard before. That's something that you need to hear. Yeah, that was on the way there that we decided on what the record was gonna sound like. But well, when you're talking about you know doing it live off the floor with Horn players there to inform your performance. I was really getting excited about doing a record that's more live yeah, yeah, feeling yeah. Yeah. versus multi-tracked. You can make any band sound good in Pro Tools. That doesn't mean they're good. You know, if part of your cachet as a as an act is you know you want people to buy concert tickets, come and see you do the thing. So maybe we should make sure that that's what they get when they buy that record and they go. Holy fuck, and I heard them play, and it's fucking, they sounded exactly like the record. Well, I like actually, that. Yeah. the record sounds exactly like you. <laughs> Rolled up to Gordy's, and uh, we got to work that night, I think. Just spent some time doing pre production in his garage, and uh, that was a lot of unlearning. It was some stressful moments in that, just with how hard it is to play something completely different from how you've been playing it for a year. But at the end of the day, really wicked process. Let's do this again from the top and I think we're done, yeah? Cool. Yeah, Gordy just up and asked us after like a session to play after him and the guys from Sit Down Servant at this club called Sea Boys. It was a good chance to go out and actually play in an Austin venue. We wanted to go down and see what people from Austin thought of our music. When you go out and play it live, it like really exposes your flaws. So it was kind of like, <laughs> here we are in Austin on like this renowned, you know, area for music and we jump up and try to play these songs that we're just trying to play them a completely different style. And I feel like we pulled it off, you know, but it was, uh, you know, it was just surreal. We stayed at the Austin Motel, legendary Austin Motel. The hotel was like this kind of like historical landmark in, in the area. It's kind of like this really quirky off the wall hippie motel, just like parked right in the center of this action. Wicked pool there. The area around there is pretty hip. Tons of those shipping container restaurants and bars and good music, good food, barbecue everywhere. And pizza places and coffee shops and pop-up food vendors and amazing real estate and homes. Cool people, cool vibe, amazing music coming out of every corner. You know, there's like an expression there, keep Austin weird, and they're definitely keeping it weird down there in like the best way. It was, it was neat. We had a blast at the studio.
Arlen, it's Willie Nelson's studio. That studio is badass, man. It's got so much gear, great people in and out of it. They got some badass engineers there. The studio's vibe is really cool because it's, it's got like world-class gear and an amazing vibe. And like a lot of studios that I've been to that have like a good reputation are just, they're fancier, you know, it's like, but this place felt so practical and, and that felt like encouraging to your creativity. It just was like a really perfect vibe, just a perfect vibe. We had very little time to do this record. I mean, I think all in all we spent three and a half days in the studio and it was done very live off the floor still where we did drums, bass, guitar, and all the horns together, and then Mike Pat and I did vocals all together in the same space, so it still gave it that very live feel. I got to uh, track some piano and Rhodes on the album, which was really fun. I was just starting to learn the piano, so it was kind of a treat for me to hear such a, a rich piano sound with a Baby Grand track to tape. We wanted to record the tape, I think, more than anything else. I don't know, just kind of the idea where the band came from and, and, and you know, in the spirit of Motown and the spirit of these things that like we find really influential, like they were always working the tape. We decided we wanted to make a classic sounding soul record and uh, you know, those throwback R&B, those soul records all have that rich tape sound. It fit what we were doing. Well, I mean, the record sounds the way it does, and it came together in such a short amount of time because Gordy worked on it with us. Gordy has made a lot of music, and he understands what we're trying to go for with the music we're making. Gordy's really well known in Canada for being a rock and blues guitar player, so I think this might have been a little closer to home for him because blues, jazz, and soul music is really uh, his home musically. and. That's where we're coming from, so we met eye to eye and we're speaking a lot of the same language. With Gordy, it was a lot of unlearning how I thought I played. You know, it was like figuring out fresh ways of playing our tracks. And uh, he would always reference records and go like, what are your favorite records? What do you listen to? And if I'm bringing up like a Curtis Mayfield track or something, he always points out, listen to the drums, you know, listen to what they're doing. And it's like, again, like bringing a different light to how I play, to how I approach playing even the way I think about drums now. It takes a central focus and a central mind to like get a record done. And you know, he can sit behind that board and pull it out of a musician in a short amount of time. There is also a great dude named Jacob who's working in the studio with us. He really had that attention to detail that sometimes Gordy didn't have. Gordy was always paying attention to the big picture. So Jacob's ears were another great asset for us to make sure there's you know no clicks and pops no no little things that you know sometimes can go unnoticed especially when you're tracking to tape things like that are really important what's really cool is that this record because it was cut to tape done in just a few days with the same players in the same vibe you know like it's got like a specific sound to it and i i really love that about it it's got a classic sound to it <laughs> shards of fun shards of fun romantic as I used to be. I love it. I love the record, honestly. Like, he got some pretty straight up grooves out of us. Like, I, I wasn't expecting uh, it to be that laid back and smooth sounding, but it's silky. It is silky smooth. Going down to Austin and making the record was 100% the, the most influential, like, musical experience of my life. Like, we left there as a band. We have a totally different approach to everything that that we take on musically. Like, we apply the same principles that he was kind enough to teach us. Austin is a destination, man. It's the music capital of the world. It's got the heat, it's got the humidity, 
It's so easy to sing and it's a great environment for making music. I really recommend checking it out. The trip was such a turning point for us both as a band and musicians, and uh, we're really stoked to get it out. You know, it's cool, it's still, I think this Austin experience is gonna, you know, forever be, um, you know, a top memory for me, and looking forward to getting this music out there. Oh, yeah.